All right, everybody, we're about to work some tucks today because Jaden's been landing short on her tuck lately. And if you land with your feet behind you, you're going to fall forwards, okay? So you gotta learn how to get your feet under you so you can stand up, okay? So I'm gonna work some drills. I wouldn't really do these at home if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, but this is what Jaden needs right now, okay? So I'm just gonna show you how I work these. Arms down, give me arms, arms, hips, hips and knees. Boom, don't let me pull them away. Good, tight tummy, hips up, more, 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 more. Boom, come back down, one last try. Come here, come here, come here. Arms, hips, big, no, hips first. Come down, arms down. Arms, hips, 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 hips and knees. There we go. Don't let me pull, stay in that ball, tight ball, tight ball, good. So here's the drill, y'all. Arms up. So we're gonna be here, tight legs, hips and knees up. Stay into that ball, get your knees to your chest, or sorry, knees to your forehead, okay? Stay there, stay there, get them tighter, tighter, tighter ball. And let's flip over, boom. So that's where you wanna land your tuck, okay? So let me show you one thing, okay? So here's the deal. Instead of doing this drill, I'm gonna pop you up and you land it by yourself, okay? You gotta get your feet under you. You have a tendency to have your feet land behind you. That's gonna make you fall forwards and wanna hit the ground, okay? More, most importantly, keep your eyes open, okay? Let's go. Yup, you wanna hold onto your legs like that? That sounds dangerous, but let's try it. We have a nice tumble track home practice mat, so she's not gonna get hurt. Ready, stay in that ball, don't let go. One, two. All right, was that scary? Did that hurt? That was kinda cool. You wanna try it again? Keep your chin down though, okay? One, two. Ah, you kicked out too soon. We'll go again. Stay in a little bit longer, okay? Ready, ball. One, two. Good job, that's where I want you, okay? So here's the deal. So y'all, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to these tucks. Um, let me show you how easy it is for her to do a tuck just off the edge. So the thing is, I'm not worried about her landing. I know she can land every single one of these. Uh, and she knows she can land every single one of these, even if she has a bad set. But the goal is to not have a bad set because if you start your tuck off wrong, or sorry, if you start it off wrong, you're gonna end it wrong, okay? So keep that in mind. I'm gonna let Jaden do her thing. Jaden, I'm not gonna coach you through this part, okay? So, uh, what are some things, talk to the mic, tell them some things that you're gonna focus on. Tell them things that they should focus on if they wanna land a tuck. You need to go straight up or you're gonna fall down. Yeah, so do you think going straight up is the most important part? I, if you, is, that's a subjective question because to me the most important part is making sure you land no matter what, okay? But if you wanna reverse engineer it, the most important part is that first thing you do, which is going straight up. Show them a tuck, let's go, standing back. So not bad, so you landed that pretty easily, but I could rewind the video right now and show you that your legs never locked out, okay? You never went up, and I can tell because I saw your head hit the mat, you know what I mean? Let's go, your head should be so, you should jump so high, I lift up so high. Hurt. Huh? I just heard it touch my hair. Yeah, it didn't hurt, but it's not supposed to happen, you know what I mean? So here, let's go ahead and move this purple mat. That's what I mean by over rotation. So here's the kicker, y'all. If she doesn't over rotate her tuck on the cheese wedge, she's gonna fall every single time because the main issue is with this cheese wedge is gonna absorb some of her power because it's squishy, it's not a hard surface, okay? So she's starting off with something negative. I think it's a positive because as she moves onto the floor, she'll be used to doing it on soft material. Jan, stop, mama. Do I expect you to land your first one? Huh? Yes. No, I don't expect you to land this. I know you could, but realistically, it's gonna take you a couple tries to get acclimated to it, okay? To get used to the to get used to the squishy and not being as high, okay? Not bad. Okay, so did you land that one? Is it the end of the world? No. Are you hurt? Did you break your foot? Is your foot broken? No. So get up, try again. Let's go. So why didn't you land that one? Did your feet land behind you or under you? Under. No, they landed behind you. Okay, so the goal is to make your feet land in front of you, okay? Let's go. Hey, big tip for you, and this is for at-home practice, which we really shouldn't be practicing at home a lot, but at gymnastics, if you fall, get right back up, okay? And then talk about it. And don't ever talk about stuff while you're still on the ground, okay? Get off the ground, stand up, and then talk about what went wrong, okay? Let's go. That was the worst one out of the three that we've done. You didn't jump. 
change, you got to change something, okay? Because I don't want you to just keep falling. Because the more you fall, the more you're going to get accustomed to falling, the more it becomes a reality. And the further away landing seems, okay? But realistically, you're falling because you're still doing it wrong. You're not fighting for your technique, okay? You're not hitting your steps. You said that the most important part is the, st the most important part is landing. Keep that in mind. But the most important part or the most important step is the beginning. You're not doing the beginning right, okay? So until you lift up for the beginning, get your hips up, get your arms up, your hips up, then your knees, the ending really is not going to change, okay? It doesn't mean that you can't do it. You just have to make a big change, not even a small change. You got to make big changes. Hips up now, knees, pull, 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 yeah! There is no reason to cry unless you've done everything right and it still goes wrong, okay? You haven't done everything right, okay? Let's go. You'll land it when you want to land it. Don't, hey, don't ever forget that, okay? Whenever you truly want to land this tuck, you will make it happen, okay? If you don't truly believe you can do it, why do you want the skill? If you don't truly believe you can do it, why are you even going for it? Like, that's, that doesn't make sense, does it? I'm telling you right now, crying is doing you a disservice, okay? Crying is keeping you in this state where you don't think that you can do it. It's gonna keep you in that defeated state. You gotta put those tears away, mama, okay? Not now, you can cry. After you land your tuck, you can go cry all you want, whatever, because it's not negatively affecting anything. Right now, crying is, put your shirt down. Right now, crying is negatively affecting you, okay? It's not affecting you in a good way. It's not helping you. It's making you do worse, okay? You gotta collect yourself, okay? So whenever you're ready to land that tuck, step on the mat, and then go make it happen. Don't step on that mat until you're ready to land that tuck, okay? See how easy that was? See how powerful mindset is? That's how you do it, okay? You gotta believe in yourself, okay? Like, that's what I was saying. You said, I asked you, do you think you can do it? You said no. And I just let you fall over and over and over because realistically, if that's what you think, that's what's gonna happen, okay? You're gonna speak that into existence. You're gonna have that in your mind. I can't do it. So every single time you go for it, you're gonna brace for a fall and reach down on the ground, okay? And then be sad that you fell. And then be like, I told you I couldn't do it. Yeah, of course. You said you weren't, you, you know? But I'm proud of you. Did your hands touch the ground on that one? No. That was good, mama. You fought for that one. So see what Jaden is capable of whenever she's in the right head space. Do you see? That's what I'm talking about. You got to get yourself in that headspace and stay in that headspace, okay? You got to know what you're capable of. But my biggest thing for you that I want you to remember, this quote, do it right the first time so you don't have to do it again, okay? okay. Never forget that quote. I'm proud of you, mama. You did good. Good job. I'm proud of you. Uh, we're done. What do you want to do today? Go to the arcade. You want to go to the arcade? Someone stole your card last time because you left it sitting right there. They actually stole it while you were playing the game. And we had a ton of points on that card. Keep up with your stuff, okay? Okay.